guys, welcome back to another vlog where today we are going back out for some more photos. Now in a previous vlog, you probably would have seen that we went to try and find a poppy field and well, we sort of failed and then we found it, but it wasn't that great, but it was still a poppy field. Well, we haven't learned from our mistakes and we are going back out again today to find a different poppy field. Why? I don't know, because the weather's awful. And poppies are very fragile flowers, so they have to be in literally like the perfect condition and it's windy today so there's probably gonna be none there but we're gonna go anyway let's do this I don't know what's gonna happen now not only are we going out to take photos we are also going to be testing out this new variable ND filter for the 10 to 18 millimeter lens I did have one for my 18 to 55 but obviously that's a lot smaller this is a 67 mil 18 to 55 was I think 58 mil so We've got a new one, we're going to test it out and hopefully it makes the videos look that little bit better. Mainly because obviously when we go out, a lot of the times I film without the ND filter, obviously the change the change in the like sun and the clouds and stuff, it changes my settings all the time. So I have to keep changing either the ISO or the f-stop up and down all the time. But with this, it's just a simple twist and we're good to go. We can leave the settings as they are, twist this and we're perfect. So. Let's see how this works and see if we can actually get any photos. So it's kind of a double whammy. So if the poppies don't come out good and hopefully this comes out good, then we still take the win. So yeah, let's try it. So just in case any of you are wondering, this is really, this is what the ND filter looks like. You simply screw it on the end and you're good to go. So yeah, let's get that on the camera. Okay, so if I just shoot out the window for a second, as you can see, this is slightly overexposed. So if I just twist the ND filter, like this we can bring the exposure down and boom now the exposure bar is perfectly in the middle and if say it got too dark twist it back it's just it's just so good it's just so good now obviously that was a very basic example of how this works but once we get outside i'll sort of show you a bit more in depth of how it actually works and what i'm going to be using it for but for now we're going to head off we're gonna go and pick up Chloe, and we are gonna head off to find this poppy field, which I actually have no idea where it is. So this is all on Chloe, this one. So, we have found the poppy field. However, there's nowhere to park. Oh my God, I actually think there's some more down here. Sorry, so we found the poppy fields, or, well, maybe fields. Oh my God, yes, look, here. So, we need to find a place to park because this road is literally just a country road and there's no nowhere to park so we did find like a gate but i don't think we can park there so we're gonna have to go and find a place to park but we have found the poppy fields this is already one step better than the last trip we went on we have found a place to park not really we're just sort of in the middle of the road we're like a in, the, in the middle of nowhere in like a lay-by thing but this is where we're going to park, and the poppies are over in that direction. Is that, yeah, is that I'll be honest, I think they just stretch along the whole thing. So we're going to get out, and we're going to have a look. As you can see, sort of in the middle of nowhere, but over there is where we're going. And yeah, it's just... Am I breaking your car? I mean, we're just here. Is it normally clip? Uh, it's a bit dodgy, it's louder. Okay, we are off. Up the road. Hello. Chloe? No, I won't, because Chloe brought a bum bag, right, to put all our stuff in, as you do, very smart. And when she did, I thought, smart, this is why I'm going out with her. But she won't let me put my stuff in it. Yeah, you had a, it doesn't fit, you had a flitty. Well, didn't bring it, don't bring it. It's, yeah, it's not got fit. my stuff in, because it's my bum bag. I thought that was a car coming in. But anyway, we're off up the road. The poppies are on the other side of this bush, so we sort of just need to find an entrance point. Anyway, as I was saying, they're just on the other side of this bush, so we just need to find a way in. And already, this is more successful than the last poppy trip we went on. Okay, so the first direction we walked in, unsuccessful. But, the only good thing is we know where they are, we just need to find a way in. And Chloe doesn't want to hop the fence. Yeah, we're going to have to find a way. So we're going back to the car. We'll probably get in the car and drive to a different entrance point, I guess. Or just anywhere that we can, really. No, I don't really know either, but... I mean, we're here. Even if we have to drive around for like 10 more minutes, I don't mind because we know where they are. Chloe decided to sit in the back for some unknown reason. Because I didn't want to climb. Because she didn't want to climb. So we're going to turn around, we're going to go back, and we're going to get some photos of some poppies. 
So we're really struggling to get in to this place. We literally have no idea how to do it without jumping a fence. I think that is the only way in. I don't know, we found a new place to park and everything. And now we're just walking around again, trying to find an entrance. Chloe. <laughs> yeah, but there is no proper way in, I don't think. I think that is the only way in. Are poppy fields like owned by people? Who knows? We'll have to find out, but what I thought was mission successful, it's actually turned out to be a little bit of a problem. If this isn't an adventure, I don't know what is. We are on some janky path. Again, another path that didn't work. This is very difficult. This is very difficult. I don't know why they make it so hard to take pictures of poppies. Why can't they just make it easy? Who knows, but I suppose we just gotta try and try again and oh this is not a, this is not a fun path to walk down but we're at the end so let's try plan uh what plan are we on now plan seven woo okay we've come to the final option of just climbing over this fence and go into the ones that are like close just in case someone comes over then we can just be like yep yeah, all right we're going so there there I guess that's it. We climb the fence, we're gonna change the lens. We're just gonna take some photos, but again, it is windy. Um, and poppies move a lot, I did find out last time. So let's, um, well, I suppose let's I'm do it. I'm just gonna take mine from here. Found the field. Now it started raining, so we're eating Mars bars and we're gonna go home. But if Chloe's nice, she might let me use her laptop to look at my photos. No. Oh, I forgot to put my thing on raw. Ha <laughs> ha. I was telling myself all yesterday. As well. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna eat these. We're gonna get home. Very sticky. And melted. We didn't get shot by a farmer. The police didn't turn up. Oh, we don't know the way home, do we? We made it. So, did you get any good photos? I don't know. Well, that was easy. <laughs> this one. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, that's a, yeah, that looks nice for the camera. Pretty, isn't it? Look. Yeah. You can look outside of the camera. Oh, yeah. What did you think? Well, I didn't look at any of my photos. Oh! Oh! Now you're shouting at me. No, you didn't I didn't. Yourself. No, Chloe, listen. I didn't look at any of my photos because I know they're all perfect. Oh, that's a lie. That is a lie. Should we go? Yeah, 